um, that I want you guys to have because it's very important. If I say describe the discontinuities, I love to put this problem up there. f of x equals 3x over x squared plus 1. What if I say describe all the discontinuities and I put it on the free response, meaning you have to show your work, right? So you go and look at this, you say, oh man, I hate factoring. And you look at this and you say, well, great. Actually, I, there's nothing I can factor here, right? There's nothing I can rewrite as a product, or at least under real numbers, that I can factor this. So then you say, all right, well, it is a rational expression, a rational function. So at least the process that I had to use to find the domain, or at least to find the discontinuities, was set the denominator equal to 0, and then solve. And when I go about do that, I get x is equal to close. Square root of negative 1, plus or minus square root of negative 1. And I recognize you can't take the square root of a negative number. That's not in the real number system, right? So therefore, what does that tell me about the domain? Or what, what, sorry, maybe, what does that tell me about the discontinuities? What are the, there are none. And again, use common sense, guys. What numbers is going to make that denominator equal to 0? What real numbers is going to make that equal to 0? None. If it's negative, it turns to positive, right? So all real numbers are defined for the domain. So guess what? There are no holes. There are no asymptotes in this example. The domain is all real numbers, right? So just be aware of that, guys. Again, your holes, your asymptotes, your, your removable, non-removable discontinuities comes from making the values equal to 0. Without putting things a 